Hey everyone, hey everybody, Eric here from Lapix, back at it again. So, you probably have um, one of these, we have like a Western Digital, there's a 4 terabyte Western Digital drive, and um, we're, we have, it's a 4 terabyte actually, so it's a big drive, and you probably have like a password on it, there's like a Western Digital like unlocker, it's an app that goes through an operating system there, and um, it has a password that you could actually put in there itself. Usually when you buy a drive for the first time, you actually see the the drive actually have that built software built into it. If you don't format, if you don't do anything else, it's a good way to write encrypted, make sure no one else is trying to steal your data. But there can also be issues with it as well. So we're going to actually go into that a little bit today. Actually, let's just jump right into it. So we have this up here, and we see that this is the WD Unlocker. This is just a software, again, when you have the drive for the first time, you put a password on there. So we already put in a password, but we don't get any drive here that's actually here, right? So we're going to actually go here and see, right? This is a problem. It says WD Drive Unlock. But what's going on? So let's double tap it. The application is actually going to open. And it says your drive is already unlocked, right? It already shows it there. It shows all the information, everything else. But we don't have a mounting. We don't have it mounted absolutely. Any, but we don't have any drive here, right? So where's going on? what's going on with the drive? Let's go to our finder here. Let's see. We have a finder open. We just see the iCloud and we see just, uh, WD unlock and we see network. We don't see anything else in the finder there. But it's telling us that our drive is actually unlocked. So what we can do here is um, we can go to the launch pad. And we can go ahead and take a look at, um, where is, oh yeah, Disk Utility, right? We can go Disk Utility, or you can search that just in the Finder. Should be probably okay, too. We're going to go to Disk Utility here. We're going to let it load up for a bit. Okay, and we do see that um, we got into Disk Utility now, and we do see there is stuff here, right? There is an external WD Unlocker, and there's also something down here. It looks like the actual 4 terabyte uh, media itself here. But for some reason, it's not actually mounting. Now, we actually do have a drive that's actually here, and we actually can see it. But we still can't see it right at the other spots. So let's go back to our finder real quick. And we still don't see it there. But what I'm going to do, all I have to do is, because this is grayed out, that means it's not mounting. I made other videos about talking about the mounting on, on like, any type of... I made other videos uh, talking about... Um, if this is actually grayed out, you, you actually can mount it different ways and also ways if it's giving you a problem with it or you see maybe there's a light blinking on the drive itself, you can actually mount it. Um, it sometimes takes a little bit of time, but you can do that. You can actually just click here, give it a click mount. And what it's going to do now is it's going to actually try to go ahead and see if it's going to mount the, the drive. And now it did mount itself, and now it's actually not grayed out. Now you can actually see stuff that's in here. And we also see that there is a library here too, right? So everything looks to be good, and that's really how you mount it and make sure it's going to go ahead and uh, work because it just didn't mount itself so it could have been stuck it could be a problem with the drive it could be something else going on with it but that was the major issue that uh, we were having is that it wasn't mounting now if you're having this problem too i would make sure i would at least remove the password in the meantime and uh, make sure you back up your data probably to another device just in case all right guys so that's how um, you're able to access the drive if you're going through the western digital app there you have a password and it, for some reason just isn't coming up now we actually have a mounting, but that's a nice four terabyte drive we have here. Um, because it's doing that, that's not typical normal behavior. Definitely make sure that you remove that password, like I said a little bit before. Um, a lot of times, especially if it isn't mounting, there probably could be a problem with the drive, especially there's lots of heads and platters. This one's a four terabyte drive, so that's going to be possibly giving issues as well, especially if the data is really important. Just make a backup of it just in case um, and then worry about everything else later because that's what you want to do so if you can see the data make sure you actually back it up we're a day recovery center we do know that these things fail quite often so anyways i hope you guys are watching this video on the western digital unlock um not mounting there uh especially if you have a password if you like this video please leave a like but let us help us a lot we have lots of other videos talking about western digital drives and i also made another video about um drives not mounting correctly if you're having a problem with the drive and how to uh, fix those type of issues lots of uh, different ways to do that especially if it's a hardware or non-software have lots of videos uh, taking a look at that if you're interested go ahead take a look but hope you guys enjoy watching thanks a lot take care guys bye